Hi, it's Gail the Planning Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm planning in my Coastal Classic Happy Planner using colorful boxes and the farmhouse, as well as these two washies. This one is from the beach washi from Me and My Big Ideas, the Happy Planner. It's really pretty. It has a very pale, as you'll see, pattern. Can I figure out how to focus correctly? It's shells. Isn't that pretty? And this one as well. I think this one came out of the happy box, but I can't recall. I keep all my washi from Mambi over um, in a little container on my desk. I'm going to use colorful boxes and I'm going to use farmhouse today. This is my Coastal Classic. And we're looking for this week. This is actually the current week. Today is Saturday and my week's gone quite nicely. All my plans have worked and happened. And actually this planning video might be a little bit longer because I want to talk a little bit about planning. I mean, it's fun to listen to other people and talk about their day and their week and what they're up to and what they're eating for dinner and the things they're doing. But I think the planning video also needs to be, what are you teaching me? Why am I even watching your video? I watch people's videos to learn things and also because I just find it relaxing. I like seeing certain stickers and think to myself, oh, I should get that book or I have that sticker, I should use it. But two, how does one plan? And we all find our own planning strategies and what works for us and what works for us now may not work for us in two months or may not have worked for us three months ago or whatever. So I'd like to talk, talk a little bit about how I plan. So this is how I plan. I like sticky notes. And so, um, gosh, I think it was Thursday, the doctor's office called, one of those automated calls, you know how they are. And they reminded my husband that he had an appointment on Monday at 9 a.m. And I knew my husband's eye appointment was coming up. Um, he sees a, an eye specialist because of the medication he takes for his thyroid. And they have to monitor what's going on with his eyes. Anyway, he gets his tests on Monday and he actually sees the doctor on Friday. So after that phone call came through, I grabbed a couple of post-it notes. I knew Monday the doctor was at nine and I wrote it down and stuck it in my planner. He told me he had an appointment sometime on, I wrote it on Saturday, stuck it on Saturday, but I put Friday with a question mark that goes there. And I stuck that in my planner. I actually don't know the time. I think he said 11, but I can't be sure. Then yesterday, Saturday, did you hear Stephanie? Fleming talk about the open squat application and the information is going to come out on Monday. Well, okay, YouTube world, I'm going to apply. I think it is so awesome. And I'm applying. Woo! So again, write myself a little note on a sticky and stick it here. When I sit down to go to the grocery store and make up my grocery list, I think, what have we not eaten? What are we in the mood for? What the weather's like? What is our evenings like? And I write out a general list. Lately, however, I haven't stuck to my meal plan, but here's my meal plan. Then I fill out my grocery list and that's what goes to the store. So again, on a sticky note, a few, I want to say a few months ago, probably some snowy, gray, endless winter day in January or February, I wanted to play with my planner. And so I figured out what day we were going on vacation in June. And I started in June and I counted upwards every 10 to, I think, 80 maybe. I can't remember when I started. Days till vacation and I put in a sticky note. So I actually sat down for however many minutes it took me to count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, sticky note, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to 20, sticky note. And here's day 40, day 40 on Monday. So that's how I do the sticky note business. Now let's also talk about planning. So here is May. And right now in my May, let me pull them out. These are my uh, projects, my front porch oasis. Everything's done except for the curtains and my spigot situation, which had to be done because we had a leak. 
everything's done except for painting the basement with that dry lock stuff. Let me just pull these off so you can see my May. Now, also over here, and I have a video both on those projects and this, my um, spring cleaning list, which I haven't spring cleaned the master bedroom, but I have spring cleaned other things. So I'm gonna pull those off. This is my little cheat sheet for my Instagram. And then this is one of the bookmarks. I'm gonna pull it out. I think this was a glam girl bookmark. Anyway, here's my May. Up until two years ago when I discovered Happy Planner, this would have been my kitchen calendar. And if you buy a calendar that you hang in your kitchen, you know it is not conducive to pencil. That glossy paper pencil never shows. So you'd always write things in pen and you'd cross things off and scratch them out. Or in that little tiny box, you'd have, I had two children going through school and you know, I'd have my son's sporting events, my daughter's theater events, and dentists and doctors and school stuff for me and my husband's work schedule. And that little tiny square would get foiled up and things would get crossed off and it was messy. Oh, but I did that on my kitchen calendar for years, my whole life. Even as a teenager, I kept a, a schedule on a calendar. So when I discovered Happy Planner, I would put my whatever it was on my kitchen calendar in here on my calendar. So I have a couple of birthdays. I have our paydays listed, my nail appointments listed. As you can see, my husband's doctor appointments are not here because when I sat down to do May, I knew he was going to the doctor, but I didn't know when or whatever because he keeps his calendar in his phone. So that's why they're on stickies. And I'm okay with putting things on stickies as they crop up. That works for me. Now I'm not going to go back and put it in this master calendar because for me, I don't need that in the master calendar. But let's say, um, you know, let's say one of my sisters-in-law had a baby then I would put the birth of the baby in. Or if my niece got married or my nephew got married, I would put that in, of course, because I think that that's important and that needs to stay in my calendar. But stuff like this, I'll just stick in my weekly. Um, also, so like right here, right now, I know because we just got the information on it this week that the children are going to be dismissed for the last day of school at 1130. So I can add that in. And on this day, it is giving back day where our high school students and maybe our junior high students, middle school, we call them middle school students, will give back to the community and do different chores and um, cleanups and whatever's around town and just outside of town. So this will be giving back day. I have not yet been assigned a class or a job, so I might wanna leave this open. I also know that this is awards assembly day, so I'm going to write that, awards at 810. And I know that I am giving awards and my three top readers for grade six, grade seven, and grade eight are going to get the big honkin' prize. And so I'll need to make sure I bring the big honkin' prize to school that day. Probably it'll be in school before that day, but that's important to note. So that kind of thing. Um, I still don't have our in-service dismissal time. I wanna wait to fill in this. I think this is a regular school day with regular rotation. This is a no school day. So these are the kinds of things that go in my monthly. My husband and I do this thing where we like to, we're in like a little competition of who reads what books and how many and that kind of thing. Plus, as the ELA teacher at my middle school and when I teach high school classes, I like to have conversations with my students about the books I read. And so I do keep track of my books. But another thing about the weekly, let me get back to that. So that's my monthly, I'm gonna leave that in. I always leave my monthly with a bookmark so I can quickly flip to it. This week I can clearly see nothing's going on. So I don't have to pull anything from here. However, let me show you something else. I don't do the currently, maybe some people do, that's fabulous. Um, I don't have anything here that I wanna show you and that's cancellations. Now I have no trouble writing in my planner 
and checking things off. And I do that. And yeah, when I planned originally, I did blue pen apparently in here. Or maybe I did black pen in here. And then throughout the week, I did blue pen. And that's fine. I'm okay with it. Here's what I mean about cancellations. So on this particular day, I thought we would have salad with chicken, but we had sandwiches. So I just crossed it off and wrote it. Some days I write it, some days I don't. Some days I use a sticker to cross it off or say, ugh, this is when my hallway was completely spring clean, so I left it here. Here's one. So instead of having chicken parm on Tuesday and leftover meatloaf on Saturday, I flipped it. And instead of having taco salad on Thursday and fish on Friday, I scooched the salad down. So we must have had enough food or we did something on Wednesday. Who knows? So I don't mind doing arrows and stuff like that because this is my planner. This is what I use. This is what I do. I write in it. I cross stuff off. I love the pretty frou-frou things. And that's what I love about Happy Planner and the frou-frou-y stuff. I'm into that. That makes me happy. It makes me relaxed. And I do have an Instagram post showing my craft space. And I will make another video of my craft space and my sticker book stash. But I own almost all of the sticker books. And I think Heather Kell had them counted upwards of 90 plus. So yeah, there's that. So like many of you, I don't like this business, but this is my planner. This is what I see every day. This is what I function and use. This is me. So I have a pretty planner too. And I do use my pretty planner and I use my pretty planner. Some people call it a rewind spread. Some people call it a, a memory spread. Some people call it um, I memory rewind pretty planner. I guess that's all I can think of at the moment. But um, I do have a planner like that because I love many of the planners that the Happy Planner comes out with and I have several. But how many times can you plan, you know, your one week? Well, I usually plan mine twice. Not every week, but often, especially when summer comes because I am a teacher and I'm generally very busy during the school year. I just plan the one time but in the summer when I have more time and I'm flitting around, I like to play around with my stickers. And so I'll plan in my pretty planner. So I hope that helped and showed you one way of planning. And let me say something else too. I thought about this earlier. These stickers are from Bambi, the happy planner, me and my big ideas. And I put them in there and some of those bad boys are so sticky. Wow, you have really have to pull them. So here's my 30 days till vacation, my 20 days. They have been in here for, like I said, a couple of months. This has been in my happy planner since I purchased this happy planner. And I would have probably purchased this happy planner, the Coastal Classic, sometime in maybe the fall release and maybe October, November, December, somewhere in there. And that has been in there. All of my birthday stickies, same thing. There's a reminder of something I want to say to my doctor when I go. I've got nothing else on my June. Um, right now on my July, just my birthdays. I've got nothing else on July. And you're saying, hey, those don't match. Right. Because this came from the Mermaid Ask Planner. Love this. So when I go to do my July monthly... I'm going to Frankenplan by pulling this facing page out of the Mermaid Esk and gluing it to this page. My August, here's just some scrap notes that I've written to myself and I just shove them in. And then when it comes time to plan, look, there's my um, doctor's appointment. And that's been in there again since I got the planner because, you know, you have to make your yearly um, physical appointments a year ahead. Right now, I've got nothing for September. I could right now sit down and will, I'm sure, with next year's school calendar and write out all of the events that we know about for September, October, November, and December, and then put the stickies right inside. 
I could do that and I probably will tomorrow's supposed to be a rainy day or in the coming days. You saw me do that in my teacher planner. So yeah, that's what I do. Look at that. Here's a reminder. Don't forget to close the outside spigots. That's why we had spigot troubles that my dad and my son had to fix. We never shut the water off to our hose spigots. And in the, hmm, this is 2019. We've moved here in 2001. In the 18 years we've lived here, we've never shut them off. So they've worn out or they've frozen and thawed and frozen and thawed. And now they drip and they're worn out. So they had to be replaced. Oops, didn't know that. So now I know and I wrote myself a note, stuck it in here when my dad told me. I've got nothing for November except for birthdays and anniversaries. Nothing for December except for birthdays and anniversaries. And here you can see I'm going to Frankenplan again because I love this divider better than the one that was in Coastal Classic. Now keep in mind, my planner lives on my kitchen table except for when I'm planning. So I'm not worried about these things falling out in August. They're not going to fall out unless I lift up my planner to bring it in here to film. In here is my daughter's childhood bedroom. She doesn't live here anymore. My children are grown. So I already pulled out my pages. So yeah, um, it's not gonna go anywhere. In fact, I have a folder here in the back and I keep some frou-frou-y things that I want or use. And I have a folder here I showed you last time. Let me make sure it's okay. I have a folder here in the front. I need to cover this. This is insurance information. And notice last time you saw this was filled with pictures from our four, my memory planner. I have used them and I cleaned it out. This little adhesive pocket is from the Joanne Mega Box. I made this little cards to make sheet for myself. I'm a card maker. And so that's all set. So yeah, there you have it. So I hope that that helped you a little bit with some ideas on how you can pre-plan and what you can do. You know, the Happy Planner has a ton of awesome sticky notes as well, folks. If you haven't seen those, go for it. Okay, so let's talk about this week. I'm gonna remove my meal plan and set it off to the side. I have the two washies off to the side. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna put the squad note to myself off to the side, the 9 a.m. doctor off to the side, and the, whoops, the Friday doctor. I'm pretty sure it's at 11. All right, farmhouse. Let's do farmhouse. But first, let's do washi. I liked using washi last time right at the top of my planner. I thought that was fun. I'm gonna do it again this time. I'm just gonna roll it out. This is a card, a Mother's Day card from last year. I took from Starbucks because it was pretty and I take a, a card from Starbucks. They're so awesome, they let you do that. And I put it on my kitchen windowsill for the season so I can look at it while I wash dishes. Cause you know, hand washing dishes Blah, not fun. Even when there's just two people, my husband and me still don't like it. So I'm gonna washy these and I just tear it with the card. I've not ever encountered trouble with tearing washi, not with a card. Now I want to incorporate this shell washi right here. It's very delicate. I was thinking of just putting it on, whoa, the weekend. I think I might just do that. Just put it here on the weekend, just to add a little something to make it fun. This weekend, today's Saturday, we went to our son's apartment and we went for a mother-son dad walk for Mother's Day. Tomorrow's supposed to rain. Then I visited my own mama. My daughter called right before I planned Today is a good day for a good day. Totally doing that. Monday, I actually am gonna have to make sure that on Monday morning, I need a colorful box. I've put my elastic here because these are the colors I thought, that's not right, is it? I think I'm supposed to go back one. Yeah, there we go. These are the colors I, that go with this color. I need to remember 
on Monday morning, my husband and I have to flip flop our um, get up shower times. So I am going to use this colorful box here and I'm going to overlap it a little and it's crooked, but you know, sometimes that's how it goes. And a couple of bullets would be nice. I don't think there's bullets in this one. The new colorful boxes, colorful boxes three, which is just out of reach, has, um, find your words, has bullets. So does Planner Basics Mini. So let's find, I have a, a toss away thing in there. Let me toss that. Um, it has some hearts I plan to use. So let's use that bad boy. There they are. So I'm gonna use these. Let me set them off to the side. I'm gonna grab my tweezers. And I think I might incorporate, I think I'm just gonna stick with that hot pink that I need to, I have to talk with my husband and find out. He has to leave the house at seven. So I wanna, and I leave the house at 7.15. So I, we have to coordinate. Either he's gonna get in the shower at six or 6.30 and I'll do the opposite. So there's that. Since I'm in farmhouse, I want to find a box for 40. You know, I believe, let's go to Planner Basics again. I've been using these up, as you know, and I had said there is no way I'm gonna have enough zeros for my vacation countdown. I think I did use my last one. And I want to keep these for third, I think I'm gonna do these and count them down like that because the final 30 days, School will be out for vacation, although I will teach summer school. I won't have a lot of other things going on, I don't think. So I'm going to save this. So I want to do 39 days until vacation. So I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. So instead of 40, I'm going to do 39. So I'm going to keep it open, see what else I have. I'm going to try to stick with these colors enjoy today. I'm going to hold this because these last few weeks of school sometimes get a bit hectic and I want to use that for inspo. Hmm. I definitely need to worry less. Let me tell you, I'm using this. Live more, worry less. And I'm going to put that bad boy down here. Yep, for sure. Plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love. That's a pretty one. I think I'm gonna use that one. And I think I might put it here, just a random hit on Thursday. And maybe Friday will just be enjoy today. That's kind of pretty. It is. So while I have Friday out, Let's use another box for my husband's doctor's appointment. I'm just gonna use this color. They all kind of coordinate. And I'm gonna put this in. Whoops, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take the day off to go with him. It's a Friday in May <laughs> as a teacher in a middle high school and maybe even an elementary school. That's very tricky to find subs. I'll have to talk to the secretary on Monday. I actually pulled Farmhouse because I love these stickers and I am using them. Choose joy. Love it. I want to choose joy. I'm going to put it right here on Wednesday and enjoy life. And I'm going to grab, oh, life is sweet. Where's the enjoy life in this color? Right here. I'm going to put that down here. And for the weekend, I am going to do Life is Sweet. And you know what would be fun to put a double box here? So maybe I'll hold this. I'm gonna stick him right here on my tripod and maybe get a double box because we spent this weekend with family and I think maybe next weekend Mike and I will do something. We'll see. 
new adventures on the horizon. Write it down. More of this. Yes, please. You know, this is a good checklist. I always need a checklist for chores, phone calls, that kind of thing. Tuesdays, I generally take ice cream to school, but I put the box there. Should I put that down here? No, because I'm going to put 39 days. I'm going to put my checklist on Wednesday this time. And maybe Friday, I'm going to use matching checklists this week. Friday at the bottom, Friday at the top. Maybe Friday at the top. There we go. Like it. Very nice. Let's see what else we have going on in here. You know, these circles are so pretty. Um, I think I want a bigger one for over here for squad business. Like this and put it here. Maybe that's too big. Maybe I should do a smaller one and do squad. How would that be? Hmm, I don't know that that's quite what I want. We might come back. Sorry about the slamming. My husband came in and went out. Ooh, pretty, pretty. I definitely wanted to use one of these for my meal plan. So while I'm here, let me go back to colorful boxes. And where's the long one? Here it is. I think I'm going to just use this one. I don't mind using dot grid for meals. Let me scooch that guy back off to the side. I've really enjoyed using a meal plan sticker, a long sticker on this side for meal planning. And I think what I might do, just for fun, because, you know, I can. Why not? I'm going to use another small sticker, maybe this color. And I'm going to layer one here and grab in the journaling... A little medicine reminder and grab another maybe this one do I want to put it level maybe so it looks I don't know somewhat lined up and do a lunch and maybe I'll put the lunch slightly tilted and I can write my lunch plan there and my dinner plan here, I'm gonna pull in the blue. None of those blues say dinner, just the meal plan. I'm gonna use this paddle. Whoops, I just tore that top out. Sorry about the door. There, meal plan, nice. I'm gonna keep flipping. I like the flower, whoops, I'm going the wrong way, wrong way. like the arrows. You know, a weekend checklist is something I like to have. I think this is a little lighter than I want though. Oh, could I incorporate this for squad? Hmm, maybe. I know what I'm going to do. I am going to take this fun glittery business and another colorful box and I'm going to do squad information there. Love it. And the cat came in with my husband and realized I'm in the room and have closed the door. Oh, Silver, our kitty. I thought I had different ones. Oh, that would be smart to bring in that blue, huh? Um, A 
as an alarm clock to wake my husband early. That's fun. Home is wherever you are. Live simply. Happy day. Celebrate. Very pretty. Okay. She's so pitiful. All right. Let's pause in there. So squad, my husband's appointment, my husband's appointment. I will probably need to take ice cream. So let's see. If I stick another box there, is that going to be weird? Maybe I should just use another heart. Let's do that. Heart for the ice cream that has to go to school. Oh, there we go. I fixed them. And I want a box and I want to count down 39 days. So is there a solid? There's this, you know, let's do what I did here because I'm excited. Let's go back to the farmhouse. Let's find that glitter. Here it is. Let's put some down. Right here. We'll get that guy out of the way. And now let's grab this color. And let's do a 39. Here's the three. I'm gonna use my tweezers just to help me place it. And I can cut this six. I know there's nines, but I'm a little weird about making sure that I use a page before I go to the next page if there are two pages of something. <laughs> Cause I really love using up stickers. It truly thrills me. And um, if you've been watching my channel, you know I've been trying to use up the mom and the planner basics. So 39. Nice. Let's see if there's anything in planner basics that I could use. You know, because the strawberries match, I'm going to put a couple of strawberries in my spread. Do I have any birthdays this week? No. And girls night. What I guess I could do is put a couple of hearts here and there because it's nice to have a couple of bullets. Ooh, Tuesday, trash day. Let's do a trash day because that's important right before we go to school and work. Did I mess up that corner again? I did. Okay, so a trash day sticker. This is cut from the Daydreamer. It's hard to see, but I'm going to use it. I think even though it's light, I can see it here. So there's trash day. Ooh, I have a shopping sticker in the right color. I'm going to use it because on the weekend, and I think I'm gonna use one of these from Colorful Boxes, a lined one. I usually plan a meal plan and we get groceries. So I'm gonna put shopping here and I think I'm going to use some of these hearts. And I think I'm going to incorporate the reds and the oranges. And there's my cat trying to actually come in this room. She and I were sitting out back for a little while. 
but she realized I came in. So that's fun. Those are good. Um, how about, I love using some bullets. How about a couple bullets here in case we actually do go off and do something. I'll put one, two. There we go, that looks nice. And this is my husband's appointment, so I will also use a bullet since I did that on the other. I think that's it. And I have to do's. Kind of tempted. Do I wanna do that to cover that to do with another to do? Just to make it stick out a little more than it was. There we go, that looks good. Okay, I'm just thinking, do I have my usual things? I think I do. Let's go into the mom. This is the first mom book. And as you know, I'm using it up. I have no, that would be fun to use on a day that I go tanning. I usually go on the weekend, but I won't put it in yet until I know what day I'm going. None of those foods. I already have bullets. Laundry. I suppose I could use this lighter pink one and maybe put it at the bottom of my list and just check it off when I'm done. I always come home on Fridays and do my clothes. I don't need prescriptions, no doctor's appointments. I could or I have grocery shopping. No me day this week or date night or holidays. None of that. Okay. All right, let's pause here then. And I'm going to add my pen. I like to use the Papermate Inkjoy in 0.5, and I bought a whole package of these, either at Staples or on Amazon, and I take all the colors to school because I like to grade papers in lots of colors. And as I'm sitting here, you know what I see? The sticker I put on my tripod. Life is sweet. Let's put that bad boy down. There we go. All right, so this is what my week is going to look like for Monday, May 13th through the 19th. I have lots of room to write extra chores or phone calls or whatever it is I need to do. I often like to journal what we do on the weekend afterwards. So let's slip this back into my planner. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you got a few tips on some pre-planning and some planning ideas. If you'd like to share your favorite planning idea or tip in the comments, please do leave a comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.